Hi, I'm Bob Parsons, here with Teresa. Hi, Bob. Hello, Internet. I've started three businesses from scratch. Along the way, I saw and learned a lot. Here are the top 10 traps I've seen entrepreneurs fall into and how you can avoid them. Trap number one, quitting your day job too soon. Going all in on a new unproven business might be a romantic notion, but I gotta tell you, putting everything on the line is overrated. At least at the beginning, you're far better off sticking with your day job as long as you can. At least until cash from your new venture covers your living expenses. Trap number two, starting too big. It's always a big mistake to invest hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars to get a new business idea off the ground. In fact, I recommend that you do just the opposite. Start small. Small is manageable. Small can change course quickly and easily. Small can be measured and improved rapidly, then grown. Small means you can learn from your mistakes without them costing you your business. Trap number three, thinking it's all about you. Cold hard fact is, it's not and never will be all about you. At least not if you want to be successful. From the first day to the last day, you got to realize your business exists for one purpose and one purpose only. And that's not to please you, it's to please your customers. Trap number four, not advertising. It's no secret, money is tight for new businesses, but if you're not advertising or marketing your services, you might as well close your doors now. You'll never grow if people don't know who you are. This doesn't mean you have to spend a bundle, but you do have to let prospective customers know you exist. Trap number five, thinking you'll get rich quick. If you think your new business is going to make you extremely wealthy, extremely quickly, prepare for heartbreak. If you're in it only for the money, you're in it for the wrong reasons. People who start businesses just to make money, well, they go nowhere fast. Sharp contrast, people who are in business first and foremost to do a good job and please customers, well, they become the big success stories. Getting rich quick in business is like winning the lottery. You have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Trap number six, not paying attention to the competition. Competition keeps you sharp. It lets you know the product, service, and pricing levels you need to beat in order to win. Never follow or copy your competitors. Always strive to be better than them. Trap number seven, trying to be a superhero. For your business to really grow, eventually you're going to need to hire help. I don't know of any examples of successful businesses that were built and run by only one person. The big important fact to realize here is that the most successful business people are great delegators. Trap number eight, not keeping track of the important stuff. Next up, other stuff. To survive in business, you need to know how you stand at every moment. And I'm not just talking about financial statements. I'm talking about sales, how complaints are being handled, inventory levels, how your ads are working, all of that. My basic rule here is this. If something is important, measure it and watch it. If you do, it will improve. If you don't, will deteriorate. Trap number nine, wasting time, trying to be perfect. Face it, there's no such thing as a perfect business decision or the perfect business deal. Before you build your business, you have to realize there will be mistakes. To learn quickly from each and every mistake and apply those lessons 
you'll be a wiser person, then keep moving forward. Trap number 10, having a shoddy internet presence. Can you believe it? 40% of small businesses don't even have a website. Not having a web presence is like having your business in an unmarked building with no phone service or power. Having a shoddy internet presence is just as bad. It's like having your business in a bad neighborhood. Nobody wants to go there. To succeed these days, your web strategy has to be near the top of your priority list. Bare minimums are a domain name that mirrors or complements your business name, email using that domain name, and a website that showcases your products and services and gives customers a means to contact you. If you need help with any of these things, just call or visit GoDaddy.com. Well, that's a wrap for this episode. If you have any comments or questions, please post them here. I'm always interested in what you have to say. For Teresa and myself, thanks for watching. See you next time. During my life, I've assembled a collection of 16 rules. Most of them I learned the hard way. These rules help me in business and my personal life. I got to believe they'll help you too. Today's rule, number 10. Anything that is not managed will deteriorate. If you want to uncover problems you don't know about, take a few moments and look closely at the areas you haven't examined for a while. I guarantee you, problems will be there.